In this video series, I want to introduce you to the Python language. Python is a scripting language used extensively to create a number of hacking tools. Now, in this particular video, I want to show you the installation of the Python language on a Windows machine. Primarily in this video series, we'll be using Kali Linux as the base system to use Python on. But for this video, I want to show you that we can install Python on a Windows machine as well. To do that, we want to go to a browser on our Windows machine. Now, Kali Linux is running on a Windows 10 machine here. So it's very easy for me to open up a web browser and search for the Python language. So let's do that now by going to a browser and then opening up the Python installation file and walking you through the actual installation of Python on this Windows machine. So the first step is to open up a browser window and let's do a search for the Python language. To do that, we simply type in Python and let's do a search for Python Windows, which then shows us the website where there are a number of Python releases for Windows. You'll notice here there are two releases. There's a Python 2.7.11 and there's a Python 3.5.1. What we'll be doing in this particular video series is using the Python 2.7.11 as this is a more stable release and it's more widely used right now. So let's go in and find the installation file for my Windows machine. Now I'm running Windows 10 I need a Windows 64-bit version. So let me go down to find that particular version so we can get that working on this particular machine. And then I'll show you some simple commands and how we can install Python. So I clicked on the 2.7.11 link. If I scroll down, you will see there is a 64-bit version installer here. And that's the one I need to click on. If I click on that, that will then allow me to save the file. And once that file has been saved, I can then install the Python on my Windows machine. So let's go ahead and open that up. Follow the prompts to install Python. Yes, install for all users. I'll hit next here. And let's walk through the actual process of installing this. Now Python might take a few minutes to actually install. It will give us some options here to select the destination directory. I will leave it as that particular directory. Here I have a number of options to select what I want to include, what I don't want to include. What I'm going to do here is where it says add Python exe to path, I want the Python to be available in the global path variable. So I can select Python wherever I am in my command prompt. It doesn't matter what directory I'm in, I need to select that and make sure that's available to me so I don't have to go to a specific directory to run Python. So let's click next and make sure that it is available in all directories so I can create a program pretty much anywhere and within any prompt that I am on my Windows machine. So this may take a few minutes. Let's wait and wait for this installation to complete. And then I'll guide you through on how we can get Python to run on your Windows machine. Again, depending on your processor speed, this may take a few minutes. And normally it's fairly quick. Here we go with the installation. It's copying the new files and it will be available shortly and then we can go to a command prompt and test out if Python is actually working. So let's wait a couple more minutes and then we'll open up a command prompt to make sure Python actually works. So it's doing a little bit of installation. There's no errors, so it seems to be working fine. And that has been done. So I click on finish. I go back to my Windows dashboard and open up a command prompt. So let's do that. And now I simply need to type in Python 
if I type in Python, that should basically cause the program to find Python and then give me this command prompt. So now we see it's 2.7.11, which is the release that we just installed. There are a number of options here. You can get help and things like that for more information. But for now, I simply want to do a simple command and let's print a phrase onto the screen. Let's type in hello world. So print open quotes and we type in hello world and that will simply print hello world to the screen and showing us that Python is actually working. There we go. It has printed hello world to the screen. So this video is just about the installation on a Windows machine. Now if to exit this, I type in exit with a couple open and close brackets and that will exit the Python system. So that's how you create it. If I was to create a program in Python, I would open it up in a text editor, a simple notepad or text file editor and create my program with the .py extension. And then you run it like this, Python program.py and that will run the commands in that particular program so that Python understands it and the program actually works. So this quick video is about Windows. We'll move on to Kali Linux next.